plus plus uh, solution to lead code problem number 2735 collecting chocolates you can check the lead code website for the problem description this is the function which accomplishes that requirement you are passed in a vector of uh, item costs and a rotation cost you need to come up with the minimum total cost to collect all the chocolates this looks uh, more complicated than it is uh, let us run with this uh, array uh, 2120115 so you have to capture the uh, minimum cost per item uh, at each location basically you can do the rotations if you want uh, so in this case we can capture uh, one um, at uh, position one zero index this one is and then you can calculate at uh, uh, position two and then position zero you can you can calculate that um, because uh, the rotation cost uh, say in this case it is five say rotation cost is five so uh, you just store a local variable called number of items and you start off with the minimum total cost as maximum so we keep try to bring it down and we need to keep track of the uh, we have to vector of minimum cost per item uh, you need to uh, keep track of it uh, for the number of items you are collecting the chocolates you are collecting so you go through the rotations basically you keep rotating even though it is not optimal but you just go through all of them and for each rotation you once again go through each one of the items and then uh, you get the uh, rotated index uh, using this uh, calculation uh, so that you don't actually rotate the vector but you get the rotated index and then for each position uh, like zero at position and all uh, you cal you have a um, what is the minimum cost of e uh, after every rotation what is the minimum cost um, so you calculate that based on the current minimum cost already there uh, and then Mm, the item cost of that uh, rotated index so in this case uh, if you already collected here and you rotate once in the second rotation in this location you calculate 20 so you already have one here and 20 here uh, so you keep that one <clears throat> and after uh, going through the uh, list of uh, numbers uh, list of uh, num items uh, in for, for a given rotation so you calculate the total rotation with cost so minimum cost per item um, for this rotation for begin and end and then you include the uh, rotation cost and once you included the rotation cost now you calculate the uh, minimum total cost uh, for basically this is the uh, this is the one we are going to return basically this is basically like total minimum cost kind of thing uh, this is the total cost with rotation so you calculate the running minimal cost and that's the one you return so uh, that's it uh, let me know if you have any questions or concerns uh, this is uh, uh, please like and subscribe uh, i would appreciate it and i will see you in the next video bye